guys, welcome to our first ever Tuesday Truth. We've decided as an X Squared Youth community to release a youth devotional each Tuesday. And the first one that we're going to be kicking off with is a series called Lessons from Lockdown. Now we know that this kind of lockdown period and the whole coronavirus pandemic has been tough. It's been incredibly tough. Uh, many of us are really struggling and are being impacted uh, by it. We, we're asking questions. Is, is anything ever going to go back to normal? Uh, will, will my parents make it through financially? Will, will I ever be able to go back to school? Well, even though lockdown's been difficult, I believe that God has been teaching us things. And so myself and some of the other youth leaders are going to be sharing some of the lessons that they believe that God has taught them through the lockdown period. So to start us off, I want to tell us a story. Now, when I was about 15 years old, my dad built me a go-kart. Um, it wasn't one of those kind of push me around until you get tired go-karts. It was a proper go-kart, a go-kart that had an engine. I mean, it was fast. Now, the weekend we were going to kind of try this thing out for the first time, we headed down to the Valdam. And uh, we were getting ready to go, and, and there happened to be a girl that I liked there. And, and I thought it would be a great idea to do the first test run with this girl. I mean, what, what an awesome way to impress a girl that you like. But I didn't realize that the go-kart had a wheel alignment issue, and that every now and then it would kind of veer to the right. So anyway, this girl agrees to get into the go-kart with me, and off we go down the gravel road. Um, we are cruising, and the next thing, the go-kart starts to veer right. So I, in an instant kind of reaction, I just turn the steering wheel left. But as a result of that sudden movement, this go-kart flips, and it throws this girl and myself kind of down the gravel road. We are skiing across this gravel we get up gingerly, covered in blood and sand, and this girl looks at me and says, You lost control. I wonder whether we ever ask God whether he's kind of still in control, particularly in a season like this. A couple of months ago, things were going fine. And then suddenly, it's like the world lost control. It's like the, the world flipped over. Everything went patient. The rug got pulled out from underneath our feet. And here we are stuck at home, wondering whether anything is going to be okay ever again. And I've been tempted to ask the very same question of God during lockdown. God, are you still in control? And God has taught me something during lockdown, and, and I want to share that with you guys today. I want to answer the question, is God still in control? But before I do that, I want to show us something that Jesus says in the Bible. You see, in John chapter 16, Jesus says, in this world, you will have trouble. There's this guy called James who writes a book. Jesus' brother, actually, and, and he says in his book that we're going to experience trials of many kinds in this lifetime. The coronavirus falls under that category of trials of many kinds or of troubles we will face in the world. In fact, the Bible even mentions in various places about plagues and, and diseases Back in 1918, did you know that there was a flu called the Spanish flu that killed an estimated 50 million people? So you know what I'm trying to say through this? Viruses and pandemics don't take God by surprise. He's seen it all before. He knows about it. He's not scrambling. Oh my word, what do I do? This is the first time I've seen something like this. Which brings me into that question. Well, okay, he knows about it, but is he in control? It's a great question. And you know what? This devotion isn't going to be about me trying to prove whether God is still in control or not, because I don't even think I could do that. 
But this devotion is about letting you into my life, into what I believe God was saying to me when I felt the temptation to doubt him slowly kind of creep in. And the lesson that I learned early on in lockdown is that God was telling me to make a choice. I had to choose to believe what I was feeling or to believe what I know to be true. I actually had to make kind of or take a step of faith because either God is in control or he's not. He he can't be kind of in the middle. So as I was faced with this question, is God in control? I started to think about some verses in the Bible which have kind of told me in the past that God is indeed in control. Take a look at Isaiah 55 with me, for instance. Verse 8 to 9. God says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, Neither are your ways my ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. Or this well-known one, Romans 8 verse 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And then again, Jesus in John 16 verse 33. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. So it is very clear from the Bible. It's without a doubt, actually. God is in control. But I don't always feel like that. Sometimes it's really tough for me to believe these things. But we have to make a choice. Either we're going to believe that he's not, Or are we going to believe that he is? And as I look back over my life, can I tell you that throughout my life, I have seen the fingerprints of God all over my story. I have seen his hand over me. I have been through difficult times. I have been through good times. But in it all, I've seen how God has used each circumstance in my life for my good, to shape me. To make me who I am today. And I certainly believe that it is no different with what we are going through with the coronavirus. There's a verse in Hebrews chapter 11. Faith is confidence in what we hope for. And assurance about what we do not see. The first lesson that I would love for you guys to learn with me in lockdown is that we live by faith and not by our senses, not by sight, not by what we feel. So if you are doubting that God is in control, if you feel your anxiety levels rising, you can either go with what you feel or you can make a choice and you can believe that God is good that he is faithful, that he loves you, that he is working this thing out, that he is in control, and that one day you're going to look back and you're going to see the reason for this whole thing. It's a daily choice. It's not a once-off thing. Each day, day when those feelings come back, I've got to make a choice, saying, God, I believe that you are in control. I don't have any other option. If I don't believe my life's going to be depressing because I'm not in control. No one else is. We were made to depend on a God who's got this whole thing in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. I know that. He's got the whole world in his hands. Do you believe it? He's got the whole world in his hands. Well, that's our first ever Tuesday Truth done and dusted. I hope it was encouragement to you. Um, If you enjoyed it, please share it with your friends. Like it on Instagram. Add a comment. 
Uh, we hope to see you on Friday night for our next X Squared Hangout Games Night. And otherwise, we will speak to you during the week. God bless and have a great day. Cheers.